Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning back into my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be here again. I'm sorry it took me so long to put up another video, but all your encouragement and kind words have been amazing. And today I talk about um, a bunch of new products that I have been loving lately and a new foundation that I've been loving. And if you want to see how to get this look that's simple and basic, then keep on watching. I'm so excited to do my makeup today with this new foundation that I've discovered. It's called Hallie's Beauty Mattifying Foundation, and I got this with a promo code. I only had to pay shipping. Um, it was a few weeks back. They were doing their new launch, and I think I paid $3.99. Um, this foundation is actually worth $22, and even though I'm not a huge fan of matte foundations, I love this one. You guys have probably seen me post it a bunch of times on my Instagram in the last couple weeks, and that kind of says a lot because half the time I don't even wear foundation. So I'm, I'm going to use this today, and we're just going to go through my whole face, basically. Um, I want you to see how I apply it. I'm not a huge matte person. I like for some luminosity, so I'm going to start out with my Tatcha... Um, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is almost gone. I'm trying to use it up, and to be honest with you, I may not repurchase it. That'll be in another video when I do my empties, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to spray this all over and let that set in for a second. Now, because I don't like really matte foundations, I will be using my Beauty Blender to blend this foundation in. I find that that's the best way it works for me. So if you do like a more matte finish um, with this one, I would probably suggest a brush. But today, we're going to use my Beauty Blender. So I'm obsessed with this packaging. It's so chic and very, um, I don't know, modern looking. If I mean, makeup can look modern, right? Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and dot it all over. By the way, I'm so sorry it's taken so long to get another video out. It's just, this is not the first time I've recorded this video. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so as I mentioned in my previous video, I don't really care for foundations that cover up, like, my freckles. I don't like for my face to not look like my skin, if that makes sense. So I really enjoy that about this foundation. It still does show my skin especially using the Beauty Blender. I can't say how it would look with a brush because I haven't used it that way, but this is how I prefer it, so. I'm just gonna bounce that around. Okay, so some of my favorite things about this foundation, one, it's made in the USA, so awesome. Two, it definitely blends my pores, so it's more of like an airbrushed finish, which I love. I love that my pores don't show. Um, I do have my fine lines, and especially in this area where I am very expressive with my facial expressions. <laughs> Still don't know a good way to say that, but you feel me. Okay. Okay. So now that's pretty much blended in, and even though it looked a little bit on the yellower side when I first put it on, it definitely, I think, is perfect for my skin tone. I'm in the shade 2.25. That was the lightest shade that they carry. So if you are fairer than me, which I don't know if it's possible, um, I'm not sure you'll be able to find your shade yet, but... I feel like this was perfect for me, so it blends beautifully. It looks very satin. It's not full coverage. I'm sure it could be if you were to build it up, but since I'm really not about that life, I'm good with this. And it's it's just beautiful. It sets beautifully on the skin. Um, it doesn't emphasize any of my lines. Um, like I said, my pores are blended. I'm super, super happy with this foundation, you guys. For $22, I mean... You can't go wrong. 
So for my concealer today, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime. Here's another product that I am almost out of. Um, I love this stuff. It lasts forever. I mean, months and months and months. I'm not even going to tell you how long I've had this concealer because you'll be like, that should be illegal. But um, as long as it doesn't smell, it's good with me. So I'm just going to pat that under my eye, and I'm actually going to use this as my eyeshadow base today, so we're going to do that too. If you haven't tried this concealer, you probably should. It's, it's amazing for full coverage that doesn't crease, and uh, it's awesome as an eyeshadow base. Blends like a dream, Avi. So we're just going to blend that out. What I also love about this concealer is it does not emphasize, like, my, um, I hate to even say, I think crow's feet from smiling, it doesn't emphasize that, and I love, love that about this concealer. Okay, so now we're pretty blended. I'm going to set my face with some translucent setting powder. Um, this one is the MAC Prep and Prime, uh, comes in this little black compact. I'm just going to take my Sigma F20 brush and just kind of go around my face. Now at this time, at this point I am looking pretty matte, but up close you can still see some luminosity, so I'm okay with it. Okay. So I've got a couple other products that are new to me that I really wanted to use on camera that I've been really enjoying lately. And, um, well actually before I go into that, let me just set my brows real quick. They're starting to fade. I do get them tinted every like four to five weeks. Um, and it's about that time. I think I'm supposed to go this week actually to get them waxed and stuff. If I did not get them tinted, you would not be able to see them. They'd be completely see-through. So first world problems, right? Okay, so I'm just going to brush through them really quick with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is one of my favorites. Um, I know there are a lot of dupes out there that are more, uh, you know, affordable. I try to buy this when Ulta does the 21 Days of Beauty, and it's only like 10 or $11. Then I find it's like worth it because you can buy two for the price of one. So, oh yeah, these babies need to be waxed. Okay, moving on. So the next product is the new Becca Sunlit Bronzer. I have the shade Bally Sands. This is beautiful. When I first opened it, I could see a lot of sparkle, and I'm not a crazy sparkly bronzer type of makeup liker. <laughs> That's not even a thing, probably. But anyways, so once you get through the top layer, this is actually stunning. It's very cool toned, and I prefer those kind of shades on my skin. So I'm just going to take my MAC uh, 135. This is perfect for bronzing and contouring um, the face when you don't want something heavy. But look how beautiful and natural that is. Like, And this brush kind of like forms right to your natural contour of your face. I'm really liking And I love the sand look of the bronzer. It's so neat how they did that. I'm a huge Becca fan anyways. They're one of my favorite uh, makeup companies. So. Okay. I look a little more alive now. Hope you can tell. <laughs> I love this brush, you guys. I know it's a little expensive. I think Morphe has a dupe for it. Um, check that out if you want. Some, if you're looking for something that can do both bronzing and contouring, this is amazing. Okay, so that's my bronzer. Next is something I have been so excited about for a long time, and it just launched this past week. 
It's the Melt Digital Dust Highlighters, and this is in the shade Stargazer. It's the lightest one that they had. It's like a champagne -y color, and I know there's like a billion champagne highlighters out there, but for some reason, this one just was speaking to me like on so many levels. I could not wait to get my hands on it. So we're going to go ahead and use my Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush. It's the F35. And at this point, I don't even care about this fancy ass print on it. I just, I want it all over my face. So, and I'm sorry for saying the A word. Okay, guys. It is so beautiful. The claims are that it's a healthy, dewy look, and that it is, it's amazing. I don't know if this is coming off on camera. Alexa, play Whoop There It Is. Whoop There It Is by DJ Crazy J Rodriguez. <laughs> you guys, this is amazing. <laughs> Alexa, enough. Okay. So now that I have this all over my face, so amazing you guys I just love it okay so next is gonna be the Laura Geller um, mineralized blush in tropical hues I also picked this up during the Ulta 21 days of beauty for half off I couldn't pass it up because I've seen so many people post on Instagram about this and it's absolutely beautiful it's got pinks and corals and it's just beautiful so we're gonna use this on my cheeks It's a beautiful, like, healthy flush. I love it. It's so nice. And I think I paid, like, $14 with tax or something like that. And um, I'm really excited about it because I love Vizart shadows. And as you can see, I've put these two together. This is the Vizart Minx and the Vizart Petite Pro. Um, I just had a vision that these two should be together and they belonged in the same, like, area so I just filled up my Z palette and I think this is perfect so this palette has metallics mattes um, warm shades cool shades it's perfect so I'm gonna just mix a couple of these together and put them on my face so I'm gonna start with the two matte shades here the cream and the white and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid And then I'm going to use this taupey color right here um, for my crease. So I'm just going to take a blending brush. It creates kind of like a nice shadow. These, sh these shadows blend so nicely. They're worth every penny. And again, I don't pay full price for these. I wait until they go on sale and then it makes me not want to hate myself as much so think about that put them on your wish list wait for a Sephora sale friends beauty does sales sometimes um you just gotta wait for that time I don't think I've ever paid full price for a Vizart palette Vizart correct me if I'm wrong you guys I'm okay with that I'm not gonna say everything right all the time so Okay, so now that we got that in the crease, I'm going to take the same taupey shade and this burgundy shade and kind of mix them together on a flat shader brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line, but I'm going to create like a tiny wing. This brush is perfect for that. It's one of those MAC Duo brushes, um, I've used it before on live. It doesn't have a number. It came with like a holiday set, so um, I'm not sure if it's something you can buy all the time or not, but... And don't worry, I know that wing looks scary, but we're going to blend it out. 
And by the way, the foundation has not budged. Like, putting everything else on, the foundation has not moved. And that's awesome. Okay. So I'm just going to take this Sonia Kashuk number 116 and blend that out. I washed my brushes last night and now I'm thinking I should not have because they're not, sometimes they just, I don't know, sometimes they work better clean and sometimes they work better when they've got like some previous product on them. I'm finding that to be the case today. Okay, so we're just going to take this blending brush and kind of smoke that out a little bit more in the outer corners. Then I'm going to I'm going to go back in and I'm going to take those two shades, the same. Actually no, I'm sorry. I'm going to take this taupey shade and this brown shade, kind of mix them together. And go in my crease and blend that out. This is kind of one of my like everyday looks. I'm literally going to the grocery store later on, so and running some errands. So it doesn't need to be all fancy and stuff, you know? Okay. So then I'm gonna take um just a big fat smudger brush or like blending brush and just kind of blend out those outer corners. I got a little carried away on this side. Just remember, I'm not a makeup artist, guys. I just love makeup. Okay. So that's that. Now, to finish off my eyes, I'm going to just put this shimmery, this beautiful shimmery champagne color all over my lid. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't even know if you can tell on camera, but it's absolutely stunning. I think this is one of my favorite... I didn't just poke my eye out. One of my favorite shades in this Petite Pro Palette. It's so beautiful. Okay. To be honest with you, I want to put a little bit more depth in my crease. So I'm just going to mix this one and this one together. I don't know why I'm trying to be all extra. But, you know. Sometimes it's just what you're feeling. Okay, so let's go ahead and blend that out. This is my favorite Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Oh, it's the number 109. So if you can find it at your Target, lucky you, because I have not seen them in forever, and it's my favorite one, so let me know if you find one. Okay, so to finish off my eyes, I'm just going to take my Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Mascara. And apply a generous coat of this. This is this has got to be hands down my favorite mascara. I really love the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye. And for a while, I love the Dior Overcurl. But I find that with those, uh, with the Dior Overcurl, it does dry up kind of fast, and uh, this one, I feel like you could probably use it for way longer than you're supposed to, but you do have to go over it a few times, so maybe I can speed this part up. I probably wouldn't even need to double dip it, <laughs> or to dip it again to do my other eye, but I did anyways. Sorry, I know when you're doing mascara, you're like trying to concentrate. Have any of you guys got the Melt highlighters? I'm not kidding you. I like stalked the Trend Mood page until they finally posted launch dates. Could not have cared less about anything else but these darn Melt highlighters. Okay, so that's the simple eye look. 
To finish off my face, I'm going to use the Milani uh, Lip Liners. This is in the number 4. And I'm just going to line them. Get that white girl up a lip. I am going to fill them in just a tad. Okay. And on top, I'm going to put the Makeup Forever number 22. It's just this beigey nude. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And then just blot it out with my finger. Okay. And then to finish my face, I've been loving this Slay All Day Peach Scented um, Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics. I know this, the scent of these is kind of really strong, but I have been loving that one lately. Okay, you guys. Well, I think the foundation looks amazing. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but I'm super, super, super excited about this foundation. I I don't think I've liked anything this much since MAC came out with the Next to Nothing like a month ago. And um, I've been going back and forth between those two. So this is definitely a win if you guys haven't checked them out. Hallie's Beauty on Instagram is exactly that, Hallie's Beauty. And check out her website. Um, this video is in no way sponsored by them. I just really, really, really love this foundation. Actually, Leah G. Perez on Instagram suggested that I take a look at this and order it when they did the, prom the promo for it. And I am so glad I did. So thank you so much, Leah, for recommending this to me because I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please like, comment, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.